All right, guys, I'm here with Bobby Watts. Bobby is one of the early adopters of the CGY 750 gyro from Fataba. Uh, pretty cool, got it in his uh, T-Rex uh, 450 Pro there, you can see it. Um, Bobby flew in the SmackDown last night here at E-Fest and uh, had a really good time with a great flight. Well, Bobby, tell us a little bit about the 750. Uh, you know what what you found that you like about it. Maybe what's different than than some of the other uh, fly barless systems out there. Yeah, the 750 that we've been playing around with in the past few months is just awesome. Um, it's pretty much just plug and play. All the basic settings. You hardly ever have to go into any expert menus or fool with any mixing. Everything's done internally. No need to bring a laptop to the field. No need to bring a separate programmer. Everything's done directly in the unit. And as you can see here, it works really nicely with the new receiver from Futaba, the uh, R6203. Um, it just, it's nice and small. This is the exact same setup that I would use on a 90 here. So when I use the 750 with this receiver, I would have my 750 box right here. Then you can see my sensor right here. And then the receiver on this side. And this is identical to it's something I'd have even on a big helicopter. Um, the 750 just flies phenomenally. I feel like it's taken my flying to a, a new level. I'm doing things now, especially on the bigger ones where I, I, I could have never done it before. Uh, it feels very similar to a fly bar, which is nice for a guy like me because I've flown with a fly bar for the past six, seven years and then now, you know, we got to change how everything feels. We didn't like that. So it flies very much like a fly bar, but gives you all the advantages of fly bar. So. All right. Well, I'm here with Kyle Stacy now. Kyle, you had some uh, kind of exciting stuff happen to you last night. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we had the E-Fest Heli Smackdown last night, and in the Smackdown I flew the T-Rex 450 Pro with the new CGY 750s. How'd you do? Uh, I got first place. All right, yeah. way to go. Um, I know you are one of the four guys in the U.S. that's been doing some of the R&D work on it for us. Right. And uh, So what's your experience been? Um, you know, uh, how do you like it compared to other fly barless systems? Um, as I recall, you're one of the guys that really wasn't a real fond of fly barless systems in the right. past. So, uh, you know, what what do you like about the 750 maybe that's allowing you to fly fly barless now? Um, as soon as I got the 750, my first thought was, wow, this thing is small. Uh, pulled that out of the box. It's smaller than the um, GUI 520, as you can see here. Um, I talked to Bobby on the way home from getting it, and he said it, it's amazing. I was so happy to try it out. Went out to the field the next day and nothing but positive results. It was amazing. I was so happy with it. I probably did 20, 30 flights in one day with it. That's how happy I was. Wow. Um, it's revolutionary. I've flown pretty much all the fly barless systems out there. And that one felt kind of like computerized, never really felt connected. But this one is by far the best one. Uh, I feel it's just like a fly bar, but has all the good fly barless tendencies. Like it tracks amazing. The head's a lot more simple, so when you dump it in, um, there's a lot less parts to fix. Just um, use a lot, utilizing new S-Bus systems, so you got all your wiring uh, cleaned up. It's really just a great unit. We're really happy. All right, guys. Hey, uh, we're here with Matt Botos now, and uh, Matt uh, also one of the early adopters of the CGY 750. Uh, you've been doing a lot, all the R&D work here in the states. Uh, you, uh, Bobby Watts, Kyle Stacy, and Brian Bremer. Matt, tell us uh, what you found you know, with the 750, what you like about it, maybe what you don't like, uh, unique stuff compared to other systems. Just a little bit about that. Yeah, well I can tell you, as soon as I bolted on the, uh, the 750, it felt completely unlike any fly barless system I've ever flown. Uh, typically a fly barless system does, has weird characteristics, whether it's forward flight, uh, whether you get a porpoising motion, mm -hmm. or uh, you know whether it pitches up on you or there's always there's always been something strange about it that I just I couldn't accept uh, and I've been flying fly barless since about 2006 and it's greatly improved since then but I think Fataba has taken that last leap to really make it feel like it should uh, a lot of people spend a lot of time tuning their fly bar machines to fly a particular way mm -hmm. and uh, you know for me I could never get that out of a fly barless system uh, okay, until now you know, the CGY 750 has definitely uh, made me a believer in fly barless again. I've, I've given up on fly barless probably two or three times over the past years, and, and you know, every helicopter I have now is fly barless. Um, how about setup on it? Is it pretty complicated setup, or very easy? Really very easy. No laptops needed. Go to the field. Make sure you have your little little uh, Futaba uh, little black screwdriver uh -huh. wheel and. Uh, and that's it, really. That's all you need. No, uh, no computer or anything. No computer. You can program uh, the gains directly from the radio. All right. Um, you know, if you want to adjust your your, your 
aileron elevator pitch you can do it right from the unit so yeah very easy to program Great.